Finally, a federal judge has ordered Ripple Labs to produce additional financial information around its institutional sales of XRP. The order comes at the request of the SEC and follows that major court ruling back in July, where a judge said Ripple did not violate securities law by offering XRP to the public on exchanges, but did when it sold the token directly to institutions. The document will help the judge determine what penalties Ripple faces for those institutional sales, and the order also grants the SEC an opportunity to formally question Ripple over those financial statements. Ripple filed a motion to oppose this request last month, calling the documents irrelevant. Recent gains in XRP's value to an astounding $1427 have been attributed to its possible acceptance by 30 of the world's banking institutions. 30 might not seem like much at first, but it makes up a sizable amount of the banking industry. It's interesting to note that roughly a third of the world's banks are allegedly in contact with Ripple. In today's program, we have all the evidence to corroborate this assertion. It begs the question of whether these banks are making the most of XRP. We'll also examine some news that emerged just the past two days, indicating that Ripple might be ready to go public by the end of March. As the end of March draws near, this event could potentially drive XRP's price surging to an astonishing $8.97 in just over a month. Um, it's interesting to note that SBI Holdings alone is responsible for almost four days worldwide bank deposits made through foreign accounts. This indicates that over time, ESB might account for a substantial four of the 30 of the worldwide banking industry that may use Ripple's technology, but that is only the beginning. Furthermore, Ripple launched its on-demand liquidity services in Brazil as part of a major partnership with the Central Bank of Brazil. But remembering our earlier discussions with the Brox nations, this is just a part of the global picture. So you may remember from my earlier video that we looked at how each member country, including China, South Africa, and Brazil, the bricks and mortar countries account for about 29 of the global GDP when compared to the global GDP as a whole. If BRICS decide to work together to combat Ripple, there might be big repercussions in terms of on-demand liquidity and central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, Russia and India are directly connected to Ripple. Altitude Monument Mountain in a previous video. I discussed this topic in great length, describing the feasibility and the current steps being done to integrate CBDCs on the Ledger XRP one. Cannot exaggerate the XRP Ledger's significance in this context, given how crucial it is to the way the financial environment is evolving. For this reason, Ripple's technology's promise becomes more and more evident as the next bull market approaches. Following the Federal Reserve's public declaration that XRP and XLM may be essential to supporting the blockchain that will underlie their future, fed the conversation around Ripple's rising role in financial technology has drastically changed with the payment system. Currently, Americans can use digital Bitcoin wallets or third-party apps like Venmo, uh, and PayPal to make rapid domestic payments, but the FedNow service is expected to completely change this market. Although the platform is still in its experimental phase, more than 120 organizations have already signed up to participate, including well-known companies like uh, Bank and Exchange Bank, as well as a range of payment processors and solution providers. The Federal Reserve emphasized this development by highlighting the partnership with Metal Blockchain as a crucial step towards smoothly converting fiat to stable coins and closing the gap between conventional banking systems and the decentralized financial industry. This innovation is a sign of the growing adoption and integration of blockchain technology in conventional financial services, as well as a turning point in the merging of traditional banking with the cutting edge field of decentralized finance. It is anticipated that two prominent players in the Federal Reserve's FedNow program will be Ripple, uh, Pioneer in Distributed Ledger Technology and Cross-Border Payment Solutions, and Stellar Lumens, a firm best recognized for its blockchain-powered network that streamlines and saves it's possible that international transactions will be supported by the Fed environment of today. The plot takes an intriguing turn at this point. The financial world was alerted to a headline eight hours ago. With 30 of banks worldwide accepting XRP, the cryptocurrency climbs to 1427. This amazing accomplishment demonstrates the transformative potential of the financial and blockchain industries. The article claims that 30 banks worldwide have embraced XRP for international payments, leading to an incredible rise in its value to $1,427. This level of adoption suggests that there's a massive market for XRP, which will drive up its price to unprecedented levels and increase its market capitalization. 
Ascent is both a success for Ripple and a potential lottery win for investors. The shocking news that XRP's market penetration is about to cross this 30 threshold, indicating even greater acceptance across the global financial scene, adds even more credence to the story. Just six days ago, reports suggested that XRP transactions may exceed $1.2 quadrillion, increasing the likelihood that its price will hit $10,000. The use of leverage by financial organizations is a historic development, regarding the XRP ledger and its digital assets in general. The news is out, and it is undeniable. The Ripple's buyback plan is now a reality and progressing more quickly than anyone could have imagined. Laboratories that Ripple, it was highlighted in a recent article titled Ripple Kicks Off substantial buyback, retiring close to 1 billion XRP that the company that created XRP is actively buying XRP, as opposed to only this move demonstrates a high degree of confidence in XRP's value and future potential in the financial system. The story gains momentum when it is revealed that the Federal Reserve is actively working to incorporate XRP as a fundamental component of global payment infrastructures, as opposed to merely observing from the sidelines. The implications are immense. Projections suggest that XRP's value might surge to between $112,000 and $222,000 per coin if central banks embrace it widely throughout the world. This rise in value demonstrates how revolutionary XRP may be in transforming the world of finance. Moreover, it has been verified that Google's findings align with this trajectory, validating the Federal Reserve's intentions to employ XRP because of its unparalleled potential as a global payment system. Now, these developments put Ripple and XRP at the vanguard of financial innovation and mark a significant turning point for them. They have the ability to completely change the scene for international payments. We are going to reveal to you some shocking documents that we have obtained um, through leak sources. It is clear that the Federal Reserve has been pursuing XRP for some time now. Only a few weeks ago, the Fed declared its intent to implement XRP globally in accordance with ISO 4217. After receiving regulatory approval, this ambitious plan, which was originally scheduled to be implemented by the end of 2023, experienced unforeseen delays that prevented the broad use of XRP as a fully recognized currency shortly thereafter. Uh, now that the US dollar, the euro, the British pound, and the Canadian dollar are listed alongside XRP, it is in prestigious company. However, the story gets more complicated when it is revealed that the Federal Reserve intends to actively use the XRP digital asset. Observations from Google Reader emphasize suggestions made by Kikuchi, a government official who, according to expert KG, is in favor of using XRP public chain to construct a side chain. By using this approach, Federal Reserve funds might interact directly with private sector innovations, setting the groundwork for unprecedented levels of collaboration and technological growth. And this is just the beginning. Please remember that the information in these videos is only for amusement purposes and that I'm not a licensed financial advisor. The U.S. Federal Reserve Governor Jerome Powell has said that large sums of money are being invested in the U.S. to create new autonomous settlement systems, indicating a revolutionary time for digital assets and financial technology. I usually tell people that before making any financial decisions, they should conduct independent research and consult with professionals. I sincerely appreciate you viewing. And if you found the video entertaining, don't forget to hit the subscribe, turn on the notifications. So you may be the first to know when I release new content. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Be careful.